How's it going, everybody? So I just saw an advertisement for McDonald's where they said that they are America's best first job. And I think that that is a great reminder that those kinds of jobs, those entry-level jobs where you're just doing frontline customer service are meant to just be first level, entry level, beginning jobs. They're not meant to be careers. And I think this is especially important coming on the heels of the minimum wage question that everyone keeps uh, talking about, especially in the media. There is no such thing as a minimum wage above zero dollars. Uh, the real minimum wage is zero dollars. That represents those who are unemployed due to a minimum wage. If the minimum wage is anything above zero, that means that anyone whose skills are below the minimum wage cannot be employed. So if the minimum wage is $10 an hour and someone has skills to offer only at $5 per hour or $8 per hour or even $9.99 per hour, they're not going to get hired. Of course, it's you know, a little bit nuanced here with the economics, but that's just the reality. If someone doesn't have the skills, they cannot even get in to a job legally uh, to be able to, to work and to get experience and move on up. Uh, so the minimum wage ends up just really destroying uh, people's lives uh, because the minimum wage ends up keeping people from being able to work and get skills, even on things they really want to do. Even if it's lower pay, it gives them an opportunity to build up those skills. And it really shows something that McDonald's has to go there and say, hey, by the way, we are a first job kind of place. We're not exactly meant to be for careers because so many people think, oh, you know, I should be making $15 an hour or $20 an hour, you know, working at McDonald's. And it's like, no, you're only going to be paid whatever someone is willing to pay for your services. And at the point that your uh, expenses for, for your job are too high, you're going to be replaced by something else. Maybe it's a computer. Uh, maybe it's hiring fewer people because the business can't afford it. Uh, maybe it's changing the way that, you know, inter uh, customers are interacted with. But eventually when the costs are too high, uh, the prices are going to go up of the goods uh, or they're going to start restructuring. That is, the company is going to start restructuring and getting rid of those lower uh, paying jobs and replace it with more efficient things like, you know, digitized kiosks or, you know, burger flippers that are mechanical and so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, this is, I think, a really important message for people to remember, hey, you know, these kind of entry level jobs are not meant to be careers. Uh, they're not meant to be an opportunity for you to, you know, work in that same position for the rest of your life. You're meant to learn and grow and look for better paying opportunities. Um, but really at the core here, the economics part is that there is no such thing as a minimum wage other than zero. Um, you know, anything that is put above zero just means that there are people who are unemployed who cannot even get into anything because they, you know, they cannot meet that bare minimum level of skills. They're not providing enough value uh, to the employer to even go anywhere. And it, to me, other things that are, you know, are just silly. If you want to look for comparison, um, you know, people paying tons of money to go to college, right? Someone's going to debt six figures to learn, but they can't get paid five dollars an hour. To learn um, through an apprenticeship or a job, I mean, or an internship, that's really kind of crazy when you think about it. And all those years in school foregone uh, that you weren't working potentially if you just were a full-time student and now you are in debt and you have uh, no money um, coming in because you're just a full-time student. I mean, of course, some people, for some people, it's worth doing that, but the idea that people are psychologically okay with going into major debt um, and foregoing uh, income because you're in school and, and saying, oh, yeah, that's totally fine. But meanwhile, oh, we need a minimum wage. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy because one is, okay, you're going to be a debt slave for the rest of your life versus, well, I could work for maybe five bucks an hour and get some skills. At least I'm making money learning on the job and work your way up. Um, but that's, you know, that's really oppressive, you know, compared to, to being uh, in debt and being forced to not um, get paid for your labor in order to learn. It's just absolutely nuts um, that people have gotten to this point and have lost any sense of uh, economics understanding. So I just had a comment on that because it's it's really something out there. When McDonald's is having to run a campaign saying that they're the best first job, um, yeah, there's some real problems with people's economics understanding. So uh, hopefully that helps clarify some things, and I'll talk to you all later.